sure that the telescope is properly aligned for observation. When setting the telescope up, you want to make sure that the scope is aligned to the celestial pole. So what we're going to do is, as you set the scope up, sighting over the keyhole in the wedge and over the eyepiece, see if you can see the north star, which means that the telescope is facing north here, the high side of the wedge is facing south. If you can sight the North Star or Polaris over the top and then using the declination slow motion controls, you can adjust until you bring the Polaris Star to the center point of the eyepiece. If you have to adjust the telescope a little bit to the left or to the right by actually moving the tripod slightly or by moving the wedge slightly. That's fine. Once you have Polaris in the center of the eyepiece, tighten everything down and you can return the scope to its normal usable position which allows us to view in the southern sky. At this point, if everything's aligned properly, you'll be able to track a planet or an object for 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes. All of the telescopes have been adjusted so that the latitude adjustment is set for 38 degrees. This is uh, the location of the University of Virginia. This latitude adjustment should be fine for uh, users in the state of Virginia uh, for casual observing. Again, uh, object may slip out of the viewpoint uh, after 15 or 20 minutes, but it's easy to keep things in the view by using the slow motion controls. Again, the declination slow motion controls one on the front or on the rear that raises the scope this way or you may loosen the right ascension lock slightly and use the right ascension slow motion control to adjust the scope. Once you have adjusted the right ascension lock the scope again. The declination axis may be operated with the lock in place. The lock must be in place for the declination slow motion control to work.